Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome to another video. I'm your host, WogoZ, and today we're going to talk about the five mistakes that small streamers still make. I know this video may sound like a rant. Well, maybe it is. It frustrates me to see so many small streamers that keep doing the same mistakes over and over without realizing that what they're doing is ruining their journey and end up quitting because they learned nothing along the way and think that being a streamer is too hard. This is why they invest their energy in something that won't help them grow. So without further ado, grab your cuppa, jump on what was the train, let's do this. Follow for follow and post in your link. Have you been around Discord and Twitter lately? How many people post their links in service or in those retweet services tweets on Twitter? Are you one of those people? Stop right now. I'm gonna ask you this. Have you ever followed people because you genuinely like to watch them? If not, don't follow. I know this sounds harsh, but follow for follow and sub for sub is against terms of service of most platforms. But more importantly, the only thing that is good for is boosting your follower numbers. Nothing else. It won't help you grow. Open tabs and viewer bots. I've seen this a lot. People try to get Twitch affiliates in particular. They get together with other streamers. They have the same goal. I leave a tab open for you and you do the same for me. That way we both get closer to the three average viewers that are needed to get affiliated so we can start making money faster. Ooh. Isn't that the purpose of all of this? Spoiler alert. Let's say you get affiliate, right? How are you going to make money if the same people are left the tab open for you, they did it for the same reason as you, and now nobody watches you? Stream team, stream communities. This point connects to the previous one. There are two types of communities. Communities where people help each other grow by sharing tips and tricks and connect as humans. Unfortunately, the most common communities and stream teams are the one that will tell you, we will help you get affiliate and you will meet small streamers like you to connect with. Those communities are pyramid schemes, no joke. Owners and moderators have a big community to show off or even perks like subbing to the owner in order to get access to the community. This is real guys, this is real. And follow for follow schemes that will help you get affiliate and leave you alone the second you get it. Stay away from them. I've seen countless people that just go live and play a game forgetting that they're providing a service, a show. Would you watch a show that has one random person playing a game? Would you come back to watch it again? The honest answer here is no. Okay, let's be fair here. You are in the top five of the game that you play. People will watch to learn from you. And that's a different story. If you are an average player, people will watch the stream because they like you. They like you as a person and you as a streamer. Go live less, but play in your streams. Script them if you have to. Also, unless you like a certain game of activity, stop and regroup. If you don't enjoy your content, how do you think viewers will? Twitch affiliation. I won't go too much in detail because I already plan to make a separate video entirely dedicated about Twitch affiliation. But there are two things that you should know. Number one, monetization. The possibility to make money doesn't mean that you will. If you didn't create a community before that point and nobody's watching you, how are you going to make money? Number two, Twitch owns your content for the first 24 hours of your stream going live. That's right. Twitch owns your content and they can do whatever they want with it without even notifying you. How does that make you feel? I am angry. I share it how I want and when I want because it's my content. Do you agree with everything I said? Did I miss something? Let me know in the comments down below. While you're down there, don't forget to pop the like button, that way YouTube will share this video so I can help more people. Thanks again for watching, and as usual, happy creating.